What's up, guys? How y'all feeling? Another day, another dollar. As you see, I got a jacket on because <clears throat> it's cold in Florida right now. <laughs> but it's good, man. Reminds me <coughs> of New York City. You know, when it's about to hit, you know, November, December. So this is, this is all good, baby. It's, it's all familiar territory. When I used to live in Harlem uh, for a little bit, I uh, I would jog in the snow. I would jog this park on 125th and Madison, I believe. It's a big, big park. And uh, man, we would jog that like two times. And it'll feel, feel real, real good, man. That cold air just hits you, your skin, man. Makes you wake up, for real. Makes you feel alive, man. I, I encourage everybody, if it's cold in your, your town, Jog outside, man. No matter how cold it is, just jog outside. When that cold air hits your skin, woo, that's how you know you're doing something. Uh, anyway, um, oh, as far as my film studies, TV studies, I got a chance to watch The Watcher. The Watcher with Robert K. Valley or something like that with Naomi Watts. I got a chance to watch that TV show on Netflix. It is a phenomenal TV show. It's actually, my friend told me it was actually based on the true story. All right, it was based on the true story. And um, it was still unsolved. Like they never found out who the watcher was. They did have some creative, they did have some creative uh, control, creative licenses, the producers, the writers. So it's a little bit of a stretch, but they did not find out who the watcher was. The acting in that TV series was phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Emmy Award winning, Golden Globe winning, phenomenal. I don't even watch a lot of award shows anymore because after the Harvey Weinstein thing and they got political, man, it's just like, you know, stick to the freaking, the movies, stick to the TV, you know? But you know, you know how it is. You know, that's the reality of it. You know what I mean? But other than that, man, it was a great movie. I don't want to give too much, but I will talk about what I learned from it as an actor. I learned as an actor uh, from that TV show that you could say a lot with doing nothing at all. If you really internalize what you're going through what your objectives are, your motives, you could really capture a scene. And Robert C, I'm gonna say Robert C, I don't wanna mispronounce his last name. He really did that. Naomi Watts really did that, you know. Then there was this uh, black actress, I think she was British, phenomenal actress. She really did that, you know. It's something about that British accent, man, that just, ugh, I love it. It just turns me on, man, like in, in good ways, man, not negative. Don't be nasty, people, not in a negative way, but like in a good way, man, it makes me feel so happy, you know? It's like when I hear, when, when, a, when a Spanish chick call me poppy, <laughs> it's like the same feeling, like, oh my God, I just melt inside. Um, I learned, you know, how to achieve the act one, act two, act three, I think for every writer, every storyteller trying to achieve, now this is on the writing side, trying to achieve, you know, those arcs, those those subplots, the main plot, it was a little bit campy, you know what I'm saying? If you know what I mean, like campy, like a little bit over the top, not realistic in some, some situations, um, but overall it was good. I think uh, moving forward, I probably will have like my own analysis and I'll, I'll break it down step by step. Maybe I might do that like this. Uh, there's a lot of people that break down the wire. If you look up the wire and like the wire breakdown it's phenomenal. You know, they do a phenomenal job. A lot of these content creators, but um, overall, it was just phenomenal. The clothing, uh, the cinematography, the prop design. The location scout, they picked a really good area to shoot. I believe it was in New Jersey. And they shot at an apartment, uh, in, and I think in New York City. 
Um, so it was just just phenomenal work. The whole cast, the whole crew. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't say anything more. Uh, I don't want to give up the goods because if you haven't watched The Watcher, um, not the Watchmen, because that's that's a, a I think an animation comic comic book series, but the Watcher. Uh, and if you just type in Naomi Watts, that should actually come up. But yeah, man, definitely watch that series. It was really good. Um, I think for actors, we're striving to be comfortable in our own skin. I think that's what a lot of us, when we get into acting, that's what we strive for. I know I, I know I was indirectly striving for that without even knowing that. But also to have technique, you know? Like if we have to have if we have to cry or be happy, super happy, you know, with like dope crazy dopamine hits, you know, be that actor, be that character. You know, be, being able to memorize pages and pages of dialogue. That's technique, that's skill. That's a that's craft. You know what I'm saying? To really internalize something that bothers you, you know, making it your own, you know. Um I will be also talking about some things I learned in acting class and, and um, you know, help anybody out there that's that's learning about acting and, and they want to know a little bit some of some, you know, good information I've learned and in, in, in along my way, my journey. Um, shout out to Disney. I got a check from Disney from a, a TV show I did in 2016. And it's, it's just a blessing, man. It, it's just a blessing. We still get this check, you know what I mean? You know, it's been what is it like almost six six years? But uh 2024, man. That's our goal. Like getting back on TV. You know, that's why I'm drinking my shake. I'm up this early in the morning, working out, gotta get my teeth fixed. <laughs> this costs a bag, so I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm, I'm I gotta grind harder. Um yeah, uh, yeah, all I can tell everybody is this, man, um, make sure you take care of yourself, as my acting teacher would say. We have our own personal traumas, personal issues that we all went through, and when we interact with people, sometimes we push them away or people, our, our so-called family and friends, just be you, be comfortable in your own skin. Um, I think that was my journey, you know? Having trust, trust issues. You know what it is, man? Like some people will call you, you know, all types of names because they don't understand you. But if they took the time to hear what you what you've been going through in your life, then they will have more of an understanding, man. But I think it's so important to have some sort of social skills, knowing how to talk to people, um, knowing how people perceive you. Even though you shouldn't care, but you need to know how people perceive you, and you want them to perceive you as strong, a person with respect, a person who has some smarts. They know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, because we can still act that immature us in certain situations, get upset, cut people off. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this is reaching anybody or touching some people um, that might have certain you know issues or, or dealing with certain things. The point is, is this. Learn social skills, really understand the English language, learn how to read, because there's a difference. You can just read, but learn how to read. And be around your peers. Be around God, godly people. Because ultimately, God is the way out, man. Like, even though I'm striving to be on TV and, and films, and it's still it's still gatekeepers. They can tell you yes or no. They pull up some social media clip from years on, or they put out some type of rumor. They could destroy your life. So 
you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is guaranteed. That's why it's important to, you know what I'm saying? Like, create your own foundation. Create your own way. And I've, I've been an advocate of that. That Since that day, that, that gentleman that I worked for said, uh, if you can't do 40 hours of work, because I was doing acting and I was, you know, hustling, doing independent contractor work and helping him, he said, I'm going to find somebody else. And that motivated me to start my business. But it took me off the path of acting. You know what I'm saying? But it was a great experience. You know, I wouldn't have it any other way. So now that those desires, that drive, I got to put in, put it into acting because I was successful with the business. Um, I love everybody. Um, if I offended you, I apologize. It was not done out of malice. Um, sometimes as content creators, we may say things that bother people and we don't realize it maybe until it's too late or at the last minute. But if I offended anybody, if you feel a certain way, I apologize. Um, I'm all about love. I'm all about God. You know what I'm saying? I pray five times a day. I check in with God. That's who I check in with. You know what I'm saying? I check in with God. You know, the other checking in is a different story. Ain't nothing bad about it, but I, I get what they're saying. You know, why the, this controversy. But yeah, man, keep God first, bro. Like, and sis, keep God first. And really learn social skills. Really be amongst your peers. Learn how to be strong-minded and have emotional intelligence. All this stuff is important because it helps you interact in society the right way. Or a good way or a decent way. A fundamental perspective type way. All right, guys. Love you. I'm about to work out now. Peace.